A common question amongst many of Technatus customers is, can you reuse your metal seal? Uh, that is generally not going to be recommended for the majority of our product lines. There are a few product lines that do have what we call 100% recovery. But the majority of them, the fundamental phenomenon upon which the technology is based is a plastic deformation of the soft outer layer, be it a plating or a soft ductile jacket, and the overall cross-section itself. So first, consider the plating to visualize it. If you take a given seal, illustrated here, let's say we're looking at one of our O-Flex designs. If you were to zoom in, if you were to zoom in at the interface between the flange and the seal, you'll see that there's going to be a recommended surface finish called out. This is going to be a circumferential lay, a directional lay that has uh, at this level of at a zoomed in level will appear as something biting into the soft outer layer of the seal. So if this is a plated product, this is going to be your silver plating or your nickel plating. And it will permanently bite into that outer layer, creating something to this effect. The likelihood of realigning this upon opening the flange and closing it is very low. If you miss one of these, there's a high likelihood of creating a leak path and a loss of performance. Secondary, the seal itself will undergo a level of plastic deformation as well. So illustrated here, you'll see a slight a mobilization of the shape. This is again based on the pre prescribed amount of compression of the seal. So you will be imparting a level of stress and strain, plastic strain taking part in the seal, creating this permanent ovalized shape. So this seal, if pulled out of this flange, will take on a permanent ovalized shape. So again, seeing here, if we draw a flange, you'll find that the seal is not going to be, assuming this was its original height, will be somewhere down here. One thing to consider though, is that the seal is not entirely dead. There is an amount of semi-dynamic behavior to the seal that allows a technetic seal to follow a flange as it moves in an axial manner. So due to thermal motion, uh, stack ups, things of that effect, the, the amount and specific amount of, of axial motion that the seal can support is dependent on multiple aspects, configurations, things of that nature but it can do it. So one way to visualize this is if you think about your stress strain curve, get your linear part, moving to plastic, the overall Technic seal and Technic product lives somewhere about here, where if you were to pull again, view it from, pull the seal out in an overlized manner, you would see that once it's compressed and fully seated, there is going to be a level of motion that can occur, where the seal can move up and down ever so slightly to follow this. However, this amount is not significant enough that the seal can fully be removed, disconnected from its surface finished and reused and be expected to perform as it did before. Hence, metal, Technics metal seals are not recommended for reuse.